Okay, we're on the Treaty of Ghent, and the Treaty of Ghent was actually signed on December 24th of 1814. This was two weeks before General Jackson's victory at New Orleans. Now, the thing that was kind of interesting about the Treaty of Ghent is when it was negotiated, it stated nothing about many of the reasons why the United States went to war with Britain in the first place. Okay? What were some of the reasons we went to war that might not have even been negotiated in this particular treaty? Absolutely, the seizure of American ships on the high seas and the impressment of American sailors, neither were even mentioned when they signed this treaty that ended the War of 1812. I find that incredibly ironic. I'm going to tell you four things that the Treaty of Ghent did accomplish concerning the War of 1812. Number one, the Treaty of Ghent did arrange for the release of all prisoners of war on both sides. The Treaty of Ghent did arrange for the release of all prisoners of war on both sides. Another thing the Treaty of Ghent did, which is important, it settled finally the borders between the United States and Canada up here. This was always a question of what, who owned what, and it established a solid border between the United States and Canada. Settled all disputes over any boundaries of the United States and Canada. Obviously, the treaty restored peace between the United States and Great Britain. The treaty restored peace between the United States and Great Britain. And it improved relations between the United States and Great Britain. So the four accomplishments or four objectives of the Treaty of Ghent was number one, it did arrange for the release of all prisoners of war. Number two, it settled disputes over boundaries of the United States and Canada. Number three, it restored peace between the United States and Great Britain. And number four, it improved relations between the United States and Great Britain. Which takes us to our last subtopic of this test material, which is a turning point in American history for the United States. A turning point in American history for the United States. Now I'm going to give you four reasons why the War of 1812 marked a turning point in American history. I am going to give you four reasons why the War of 1812 marked a turning point in American history. From 1789 to 1815, this would be after the War of 1812, from 1789 to 1815, all the events in Europe finally helped the United States develop its foreign policy. We always had a difficulty coming up with a good foreign policy. And General George Washington, after becoming president, didn't he tell us to be careful on our foreign policy, not to have permanent alliances with foreign countries? We never did have a very good foreign policy until after this War of 1812. So everything we learned in Europe between 1789 and 1815 helped us finally shape a foreign policy that George Washington encouraged us to do way back when he left office. We finally learned on how to do things foreign by paying attention to what went on in Europe between 1789 and 1850. <clears> the <throat> second reason there was a turning point in American history after the War of 1812 is because after the War of 1812, the United States became more independent of Europe, which we needed to do. We became more independent of Europe. The third turning point in American history for the United States after the War of 1812 
is we finally gained a much needed respect from European countries that we could, quote, stand on our own two feet. So the third reason why the War of 1812 marked a turning point in American history is that the United States finally gained a much needed respect from European countries and they believed that we could stand on our own two feet. We were so dependent on European countries prior to this war. After the war, we not only become more independent of Europe, but we get more respect from European countries that believe that the United States can finally stand on their own two feet. And this is probably the most important one. During the next 100 years, from 1812 to 1912, during that 100 year period, the United States of America was not directly involved in any European wars. We finally stayed home and tended to business. So during the next hundred years, from 1812 to 1912, the United States was not directly involved in any European wars. What's the next European war we're going to get involved in? World War I. That was a big stand. So if you look at these four reasons that the War of 1812 marked a turning point in American history, basically as a result, you can, you can figure this on the four. The United States of America began to concentrate on developing, developing our own country at home rather than dealing with foreign countries across the globe. We decided to concentrate, and we did that for 100 years. From 1812 to 1912, we began to develop our own country at home rather than be involved in all these European issues. Okay? All right, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn on the test review off of the website and let you guys watch that before we do this tomorrow. Yes, my dear? Who's the president? Who's the president? Who's the president? Oh, 1912. Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> a lot of presidents went by, didn't they? A lot went by before we got ourselves involved. All right, I want you to.